All policemen in Aja Division transfers, says the PPRO. Hello everyone, welcome to New Sport TV, compliments of the season and wishing us all a prosperous 2023. The Lagos State Police Command has revealed that all policemen attached to the Aja Police Station in Lagos State have been transferred out of the division. The State Police Public Relations Officer Benjamin Udayi made the disclosure in a series of tweets on Monday. Udayi was re reacting to a report published by The Punch also on Monday about Aja policemen caught drinking while abandoning their duties, thanked the newspaper for the expose and urged residents to continue to report any misconduct noticed in order to improve the police force in the state. He said, I can confirm that this publication has been overtaken by events. The new DPO Aja CSP Adolf Ogu had earlier in the week dismantled all the shanties around the police station. In addition, the Commissioner of Police Lagos State Command, CP Abiodun Alabi, has already effected the transfer of all personnel of the division with replacements from other divisions. This will fully materialize in a couple of days. We encourage more Lagos residents to, as usual, say, some, say something whenever they see something, and this will translate to a better policing experience for all. Remember, security is everyone's business. Investigations have proven that policemen attached to the Ajua Police Division at Jalega State regularly abuse alcohol, which may be responsible for the increasing rate of extrajudicial deletion by cops from the station as residents and business owners also observed the trend. According to residents of the area, the policemen are always under the influence of alcohol while on duty and on patrol. They said this might be responsible for the recent killing of a pregnant lawyer, Bolanle Rahim, by an assistant superintendent of police, Drambi Vandi, who was attached to the station. Two weeks earlier, an inspector, Ime Johnson, attached to the same division, was shot dead. Another resident, Gafaru Braimo, who was on his way to buy fuel. Hmm. So let's take some of the comments by people on this. A commenter said, transferred, does that em eliminate their evil behavior? Won't such exhibit repeat itself at the new post? And somebody else said, how does this help? Another said, will that solve it? Another person said, another set of mad men, Naim Gokon carry Aja again. When will Nigeria police start using body cams? So this is the latest updates on this case. And honestly, we just love to move around in circles. I think that's our area of socialization. When something happens, they'll just start beating around the bush. You know, we start running around like headless chicken. When what we are supposed to do, we would not face it in most cases. As we continue to mourn the demise of this industrious lawyer and a successful real estate guru, Mrs. Abolani Rahim, we pray that her soul continues to rest in peace. Remember, she was shot on Christmas Day with a two so sorry, seven month old pregnancy and the presence of her husband, a eight year old child, a little cousins and a sister. This is the face of Drambi who did the evil and what else can we say? But um we hope Nigeria will just be safe again. For lack of a better word, this is very unfortunate. And like they said, transferring the men at the Aja division to where? Is that going to change them? Is that going to reorientate them? Or they are just going to be let loose to different stations again where they can create the havoc because the Aja division has been noted for this notoriety. Please drop your comments in the comment section below. Like I always say, we still believe Nigeria will work. Somehow, anyhow, Nigeria will work. It's there for you and I to do our bits in whatever little way we can. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe. And please drop your beautiful and constructive comments in the comment section below. 
please stay safe out there bye for now